For the last few months, the M Super X has been my go-to wheel. And now that I have the 18 XL, I'm not sure what to do now. A lot of riders have already complained about the incline of the M Super X pedal being uncomfortable. Now, I personally don't have an issue with the pedals being uncomfortable, but these pedals come with rubber on them. The standard pedals that come with the King Song are about the same size as the M Super X, but they do have the option of getting extra large pedals, which are about 20% larger, and they're more comfortable. It's definitely better for new riders. Look at the grip tape. It's like extra thick. It is the grippiest grip tape I've ever used. So I'm gonna figure out what they're using, and I'll put them on the M Super X. I feel like the, the King Song is just a little bit more nimble. This is twitchy in a good way. Nimble! Really don't need to worry about scraping so much. All right, now it's time to try the M Super X. One of the things I was really afraid about was being able to take turns easily on this thing with the extra wide wheel. Like, the only thing I need to worry about is tire maintaining grip. I just want to ride my unicycle, unicycle, da, 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 da. Uh, 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 woo! Ah! Did I get that on tape? I slipped. The traction is what gets you, man. Ah. Now, when comparing a Gotway versus a King Song, one of the first things is safety. Gotway's always been dinged for that really hard. They allow us to disable all safety. I just don't ride on the beep. I'll ride very aggressively up until that point, but not beyond. King Song definitely has a more of a safety buffer. If you really wanted to push the King Song to the limit, I think it would probably have a very comparable top speed to the M Super X. Dangerously fast. You should not do what I do. They both have so much power. <sighs> So now let's find out which one is actually faster. Oh god, it's so cold out right now. Three, two, one, go! really curious to see which one it is because I can't really tell. They're both extremely powerful and like more power than I can actually handle. Three, two, one, go! Seeing the breaking distance at 40 kilometers an hour. I got a little more wobbles on the King Kong while breaking. So it seems like it's about the same between uh, the acceleration and braking power, but I'm actually curious, so I'm gonna look at the uh, computer and see uh, how they actually compare. So while the tire of the M Super X is big and comfortable, it's detrimental to the range. I mean, the thing specifies a range of 130 kilometers, but I don't get that. I get probably close to 60. And the ranges I was getting for the King Song was about 100 kilometers riding around the city. So that's like 50% more range out of the King Song than the Gotway. So range is something you really need, then you gotta go with the King Song. 
Both the Kingsong and the Gotway have 1600 watt hour batteries and 120 watt power supply, which means it takes about 15 hours to recharge. If you wanna go for really long rides, you definitely need to get a fast charger. They both have USB ports. Kingsong has a sensor to prevent it from spinning, whereas Gotway doesn't. When it comes to trolley handles, the Kingsong has a button which allows you to latch it into place. If this trolley handle is located in the back, which is not as comfortable as the center, God, this has been a really difficult test. So which wheels should you get? It very much depends on what kind of environment you're going to be riding. If you need to integrate with the city and other forms of transportation, yeah, the, the King Song is just way more convenient to use because they took care of all the amenities of like a handle in the center that's nice, the no spin button with USB ports that work. Uh, now, if you ask me which one I think is better, I'm gonna have to give it to the M Super X. The M Super X has more power, more speed, and it really keeps the pedals nice and tight. I think the fear of having this M Super X fail on you with the same typical problems that they had in the past is unlikely. I think they really made a good wheel this time. Also, if you're looking to get one of these wheels, I'll leave links where you can buy them down below. Just so you know, this review is not over. I haven't done the off-roading section yet. So, if you want to get notified when I push that out, Hit that subscribe button down below.